Memphis rapper Moneybag Yo confirmed that he's dating Ari Fletcher when he was in New York talking to Hot 97 promoting his upcoming album, Time Served. Let's talk a little bit about it. We all know Ariana Fletcher was with G Herbo. She was a, a shot girl or a bottle girl in the club. Her and G Herbo had a son together, I believe. Then she uh, was dating Javante Tank Davis, the boxer from Baltimore. They broke up. Now she with the rapper Moneybag Yo. Let's talk a little bit about it and some more. Make sure you check out our music entertainment playlist. You definitely won't be disappointed. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And yeah, man, in, in the music entertainment business in Hollywood is a it's a uh, it's a weird place. They share this they they tend to share the same females over and over again. All right. And with men, you know, just today, and this is outside of Hollywood, men will uh, take a girl that has nothing on Instagram but a nice body or a beautiful face or both, and they will make them millionaires, and they take care of them, and they give them money. And then when the relationship gets serious and they need a, you know, they need a crush to lean on, then you know she gone. You know what Lil Wayne say when you when she leave when you say you out of mustard, and you know at the end of the day she was a bottle girl. You know it was with G Herbo, then Tank, not money bag, yo. So. Uh, at the end of the day, he said he preferred to keep the relationship on the low so it won't really go sour like his relationship with Megan Thee Stallion. He already wants social media to get with it. He said, what you see is what you get, and they was in the club rocking together. And I'll link an article in the description with all the videos in there as well. Um, they was rocking together, and, and he just said he basically wanted to keep it low-key. But a lot of times you got to ask yourself, why do you know men or these entertain these entertainers today in Hollywood you know, really share the same you know women? You know, you see an IG model with Le'Veon Bell, and then she'll be with, like, Little Pump, for example, and they share the same women, and they keep them in the same rotation, which you got all these beautiful, powerful women out here that can match your fly and basically match you better for dollar for dollar almost. And I never really understood why dudes with money are still intimidated by strong, independent women, and they still will rather go for the women that need them. And I was I was reading an article I can't remember who wrote it. And they said men that are with women that actually genuinely love them or like them in the beginning spend less money. I think it might be a complex thing with men. I think men want to feel like a woman need them and it makes them feel more powerful. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't know if that's embedded, if that's genetic or if that's something that's learned or that's something that's subliminal by watching TV. But even, even you know, the most strongest independent Men in the world, they don't go after the strongest independent women. No matter how much money they got, they tend to date down financially. Real, real down. You know, you, you rarely see a Jay-Z and Beyonce type of power couple where they both got the bag. You don't really see that, but at the end of the day, you know, it's their prerogative. You live and you learn. Maybe it's just about life experiences. Maybe they don't see it as them wife and her and they just want to spend the money Maybe it's about upgrading a celebrity lifestyle because Javante Tang Davis became a lot more popular. He's already a popular uh, boxer. He became a lot more popular because Ari Fletcher. He crossed over. A lot of people end up knowing who he was. He probably got more subscribers and more followers on Twitter and Instagram in that situation for messing with her. So he benefited, and maybe Money Back Yo benefit from you know being with a high profile woman. A lot of females like Ari. You know what I'm saying? And they like how she moving. And now when you look at the women, they looking up to the Instagram models as a way to get on and get to these and get to these rappers and these upper echelon uh, dudes in the industry. But, you know, for men, if you serious, you know, you serious about a woman and you serious about trying to find somebody that you can build with. Why would I go down and, and get an Instagram model who ain't got nothing? You see, you see what Swali from uh, Ray Shermer, you know, what I'm saying she she was talking about putting money on his head and getting him out the game and messing up his high-end Ferrari, wherever it was. Why would you want to put yourself through that? You know what I'm saying? You see all these beautiful women that's that's getting the bag out here. That, you know, Kiki Palmer, I think she she landed a job in one of the big network televisions uh, thing. You see all these beautiful actors, and maybe they run through them too, I, I imagine. But you got so many strong business women out there, man. You know, you want to you wonder why they don't try to go for the financially stable women or the women that got the college degrees. Those are the ones that don't have two or three kids. But somebody made an interesting point on Twitter that Ariana Fletcher, uh, Ari Fletcher, excuse me, her her son with G Herbo been around three men in like two years. You know what I'm saying? You know, G Herbo, Javante, and Moneybag Yo, 
And, you know, at the end of the day, she's just looking for the dude who the hottest who's going to spend the bag on her. You know, and, and, and men don't mind doing it. You know what I'm saying? Until it get, it get late, you have kids with them, and then they milk you for child support, and that money ain't flowing in like it once was. But I honestly think, I honestly think these dudes in Hollywood, and I think men out here are intimidated of strong, powerful, independent women. And I think also it's just been embedded by dudes watching love and hip-hop and these reality shows and their rea- reality growing up maybe with single mothers that they think toxic women and, 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 and women that, 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 that feel the need to be around them for money and stuff, maybe they, they feel that they're being a provider that way. When you can get you a woman that got a degree, a woman that, that, got, a bi- that got a business, a woman that, that, that's getting real money, and you don't have to be stressed. But yet again, if you get money, you hitting the road and getting that bread. Instagram, the Instagram girl or the bottle girl gonna be right there because she ain't got no nothing else to do but spend your money. So maybe you know, two busy people don't really mix. You know, but at the end of the day, it's like they share the same few women in the music industry and even in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? If somebody break out something new, some woman new, and they drop them, then here comes somebody in Hollywood to pick them up. It's kind of funny, man, but best of luck to uh, Moneybag Yo and his album. Best of luck to his, his relationship with Fletcher or Aerie. I, I guarantee she's going to move on to somebody else soon, too. But, hey, we'll see, man. But, hey, it is what it is. Check out our music entertainment playlist. Let me know what you guys think about it. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if need be. All my information is there. I respond uh, at my earliest convenience. Other than that, want to make a donation, just share the video. It's the best way to help the channel. Share it somewhere on social media. And check out our music entertainment playlist, NBA, NFL, and much, much more. One time for the one time, Goodfellas Sports TV. We gone.